Hi, welcome to part two of this build where I'm trying to machine a Blade Runner blaster entirely from scratch, uh, from aluminium and hopefully learning some new machining skills uh, at the same time. So in the last part I just uh, drew out this shape, cut it on the bandsaw and then used a hand file to get the curves here. And then milled out this pocket over on the Dor Westbury mill and this little channel here, um, this pocket for the triggers and um, put an M10 tapped hole there so we can screw a barrel into it. So in this part I want to make the barrel which obviously is just the cylinder and uh, I'll tap the end of it, uh, thread the end of it M10 so it'll screw into there and uh, then we'll do the cylinder and this uh, arm that holds the cylinder, whatever that's called. This looks pretty straightforward. This is just a, will be a bit of aluminium rod and uh, some plate just cut out on the bandsaw, uh, maybe cleaned up a bit, and uh, this radius put in here on the mill. And um, then we have the cylinder itself. Um, this looks quite straightforward. It, it's just going to be taking some aluminium stock, turning it down to the correct diameter and uh, then taking it over to the mill machine, put it on a rotary table and every uh, 72 degrees put in a, uh, a hole for the chambers. Um, one difference is that I want to reuse these empty um, casings but these are not the correct type of uh, ammunition for a revolver the base isn't wider than the than the body and so um, they would just uh, fall all the way through without anything to stop them. Um, so what I'll do is first of all drill out each of the chambers to this smaller diameter and then counterbore it to the larger diameter at a depth that will allow the ammo to just sit in there and not fall out. And then I might just uh, make some thing to go on the end here just to finish off the fake uh, ammo. And then on the outside we have these little grooves here. I'm not going to be able to machine these like this. I don't think I have the tooling for that. So instead I'm just going to get a regular end mill and just come in from the side. Um, so milling down like this. Uh, and that's going to leave a 90 degree shoulder here. But I think that might look quite nice anyway.
So this has worked out really well so far. Um, I had a bit of a tooling issue on the lathe, so the, the, the barrel here is really rough. So I might redo that so at some point in the future. The cylinders worked out really well. Um, I haven't gone for that smooth transition that's here. I've just gone for a, um, a very abrupt transition just because it was easier to um, mill. Um, the fake ammo um, is, is quite good. Um, just put a cap on there using a stainless steel M screw, M6 screw that um, is just shaped a little bit on the lathe. Um, and this arm has worked out really well. Um, so now I want to stop it looking even more like a bulldog revolver. I want to start putting on the Blade Runner parts. Um, so obviously one of the iconic things is that we have two triggers. So in the next video I'll try and make those. Put the trigger guard on somehow and uh, the base that goes at the bottom of the handle. And uh, then to cover up this uh, cylinder I'll then make that cap that goes over over there. Well, I'll try anyway.